We are heading to Zale, Lebanon with the Crystal Alisa and the wonderful Nadine and all of the and lovely the babies back there. In the back. Yes, the yes. All right, so, so give us a fun fact about Zale. We're going to this one. Yes, yes, yes. So there are amazing wineries there. From what I've read, this has uh, also been called the city of wine and poetry. And now we are about to find out exactly why. Also, we will probably be seeing a few ancient Roman temples and getting our dose of history. So here we go. Oh, and here's the view. Here's the view on the way. We've got lots of mountains, of course. All right, so if you come to Lebanon, do not be alarmed if you see what you're about to see here. It's a checkpoint. These are very standard here. It's just to make sure that everyone is being uh, nice and behaved. And if you see any suspicious characters, they can be pulled over. So uh, as you pass by, you may say something like, Yati Kalafi, you know, <laughs> to uh, blend in and help you get through. So, uh, yeah. That is so accurate. Yep. Yes. Yep. They're there so that they make sure that people like you are behaving. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. So Chateau Cassara is actually the oldest wine company in Lebanon. It was founded in 1857 by Jesuit priests. Chateau Cassara هي أقدم مصنع للبيض بلبنان أسس الرهبان اليسوعيين سنة 1857. What you're seeing right now is actually two kilometers worth of underground ancient Roman caves. So we are about to do a little a little wine tasting. Yes, we just got done seeing the incredible, incredible uh, caves of Kassara. We did not know that these were actually uh, Roman ruins before, possibly a prison. And now they are this amazing wine. And how many, how many bottles per year do you produce? Three million, and Three. they have one million bottles that are stored right now in the cave. So, incredible. And this is all thanks to Nadine for showing us this wonderful place. So yeah, here we are. Cheers. Cheers. How is it? Which one is this? Mm, it's so good. It's a Lyons. It's rosé. Rosé. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, let's try this. So, we're about to try the, we're about to try the Chardonnay. We're very early in the wine tasting, so this is sort of your before. We'll see what the after looks like later once we've had a little more. <laughs> but here's our before. So, cheers to Chardonnay. Okay, this one is a Carignan. <laughs> Carignan. 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 Do you like it? I like it. It's fresh. It's a bit bitter. A bit bitter? Yeah. Okay. It's good. Super light. It's good. Super light, according to Nadine. My, is it super light? This is my very first Chardonnay <laughs> ever that I taste. First Chardonnay yeah, ever? Yeah, I like it. So we just had the Chateau, and it's uh, a little less dry than some of the other red wines. It's my favorite. It has 30% Merlot, which makes it less dry. 
and the rest is the... She was absolutely buzzed, for sure. I definitely not. I am not. I am not, because I just don't drink at all, you know? So I made sure that I'm just tasting, not drinking glasses of wine. But this one, the Chateau, is my favorite. Yes, it's the best. But I can prove she's buzzed, because she was trying to find restaurants in the house and could not type it in properly. <laughs> This is also her second favorite as well, so it's quite lovely. Chateau, so Chateau right now is second place. We like the rosé, number of one, aloe, dry, dry. dry. Yeah. That's good. Chateau number two so far, after the rosé. I think one of the last ones is the, the it's Muscatel. The Muscatel, yeah. it's sweet okay, wine. Moscato. For me, personally, it's not, it's not my favorite. It's too fruity and it's strong, you know? I'd rather stay 17 with... 17% Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Like, I can't... Like, this is tiny bit. Like, I can't... I can't drink it. Mm. What are your thoughts? Fruity and strong. Very strong. Fruity and strong? Okay. All right. I'm about to see. Here we go. After Chateau Kassara, we headed off to the Temples of Niha, which I believe is about 18 minutes away. Niha is actually a name used by four different Lebanese towns or villages. There's a Niha in Zale, near Becca, which is where we are here. There's a Nihan Betrun, a Nihan Tire, and a Nihan Shuf. Niha is home to four Roman temples that were constructed between the first and third century AD. The lower two temples are located on the edge of the village and the upper two temples are about two kilometers above the village in what is known as Hosen Niha. This first smaller temple was dedicated to the Syrophoenician mermaid goddess Ater Goddess and her consort, the god Hadaranes. Hadaranes is the local name of Hadad, the god of thunder, lightning, and rain. Ater Goddess was sort of the goddess of fertility. So we are at the temples of Niha. We just saw the small little temple that we showed you guys, and now we're approaching the much larger main temple and it is impossibly big, uh, much bigger than I would have thought. The carving in front of you is actually a statue of a priest. هيدا نحت لراهب من الرهبان على هيدا الصخر الكبير هون بنيحة. This is known as the Great Temple which was restored extensively by the government of Lebanon in the 1950s. It towers at nearly 20 meters or 65 feet, and the temple was built during the second and third centuries AD, and was apparently used for a mysterious cult that spread during the era, similar to the Temple of Bacchus in Baalbek. هيدا معبد نيحا يلي اعادت الدولة تأهيله بال 1950 او بهالفترة كمان هيدا المعبد اللي طوله 20 متر تعمر بالقرن الثاني او الثالث ما قبل الميلاد وكانوا بيجوا او بيزوروا مجموعات دينية يلي كمان كانت هي ذاتها يلي بتزور معبد باخوس ببعلبك The Great Temple was also dedicated to the god Hadaranes and the goddess Atar Goddess, as well as to a young god who played the role of their son. The mysterious looking passageway is actually a room into a crypt. It's an elevated crypt which held the items which would have been used during the ceremonies and rituals of the temple. If you look closely up there, 
you see a couple of uh, French adventurists who were, uh, you know, going on this upper level. So it turns out there are staircases that lead up there, which we'll show you in a moment. Um, if you are going to go, it's a little bit uh, sketchy on the way up, a little dangerous. So be very careful because you, you could fall. It's only fitting after visiting a temple of fertility that we would of course see a rainbow as we're ending our trip. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. إذا حبيتوا هيدا الفيديو بليز ما تنسوا تعملوا لايك وكمان تشتركوا بالقناة حتى يوصلكم كل شي فيديوز جديد رح نعمل لهم أبديت أو بوستينج. Thank you.